This is the David Lloyd Tennis School at Intusport.com. In this guide, we'll show you the technique for the lob. As your tennis improves, you'll find you need to play some different strokes to help set up opportunities to win points and to relieve pressure in rally situations where your opponent might have the upper hand. The lob is a shot that's used when your opponent is at the net and you want to make sure they can't volley the next shot. The lob can be hit either as a forehand or backhand and in many ways it's very similar to your basic ground stroke. Let's start with the grip. The grip for the lob will be the same as the grip for your forehand and backhand ground stroke. This means that it will be either an eastern or semi-western forehand and a single or double-handed backhand. If you're unsure about these grips, then you can find out all about them in the grips guide in this series of videos. The lob is played from around the baseline, starting in a good ready position with your racket in front of you with a relaxed grip. Watch the ball carefully and play close attention to your opponent, especially how close they are to the net. The nearer they are, the more effective your lob will be. As the ball comes towards you over the net, adjust your feet into position to play either a forehand or backhand. Turn your shoulders away from the ball and extend your arm behind you to take your racket back in the same way as you do for your regular ground stroke, either in a shallow loop on the forehand side or straight back on the backhand side. Use your free hand to help the shoulder turn on the forehand or to balance the racket on the backhand. Concentrate on keeping your shoulders level. Many players tip backwards when they learn to hit a lob. If your opponent sees you doing this, then they'll have a pretty good idea which shots you're going to hit. At the end of the backswing, drop the racket head so that it's below the height of the incoming ball. Bending your knees will help you do this and also make sure that your feet are about a shoulder's width apart. As you swing the racket forwards, begin to open the racket face so the strings start to face the sky. Contact the ball to the side and slightly in front of you, between waist and shoulder height, and make sure the racket face stays open. This will make sure that when the ball leaves your racket, it's moving upwards and forwards, so that it will go up and over your opponent's head. The racket swing should then follow the line and direction of the ball, so it will go high up above your front shoulder and then follow through across your body. Your weight will move from your back foot to your front as you make the stroke and contact the ball. The ball should be hit high enough to clear the volley and then land deep in the opponent's court. As you develop the lob, you'll realize that it's very easy to hit the ball out of court. To improve your chances of landing the ball in, you can add a little topspin to the ball so that it will clear the net at a higher point, but then drop more quickly and bounce up sharply, as it does with a regular topspin forehand. To add topspin to the lob, close the racket face a little more as you swing the racket forwards and brush up the back of the ball sharply. As with the basic lob, the racket should finish high above your shoulder before coming across your body. After the lob, recover quickly and move forward into the court so that you're about two meters from the net and be ready to return the ball from your opponent. It could be a weaker, slower return or it could be a lob over your head, so be alert and ready to move. So that's the lob, let's recap. The lob is a shot that's intended to push your opponent back from the net. Start on the baseline in a ready position and be prepared to hit either a forehand or backhand ground stroke. Take your racket back as you turn and as you swing the racket forwards, open the racket face and swing the racket forwards and upwards so that you lift the ball over the opponent at the net. Once you've mastered the basic lob, try adding topspin and make sure you recover quickly and move forward to the net for your opponent's return. Recover quickly and move forwards to deal with potentially weak return from your opponent. So now that you understand how and when to lob, you can watch the practice drills for the lob or maybe learn how to smash. Intersport.com, the home of world-class sports coaching online.